Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll talk about the Ampeak battery charger. Not just a battery charger, we'll talk about a smart battery charger. Ampeak was a nice and sent me this battery charger and since I have done a few battery charger videos already I thought this might be a good follow-up on the DIY battery chargers which you can find up there. This one is not focusing just on lithium-ion phosphate batteries, this one is also capable of charging the other batteries. So it means you can also charge the batteries, which, you know, AGM batteries, gel batteries, which only need like 14.2 volts maximum compared to lithium ion phosphate batteries, which need or should be at 14.6 volts, so it can top up all the way. We'll take a closer look on the Ampeak Smart Battery Charger and see what settings this has, how does it perform when it's charging, and therefore we'll use nothing less than a Red Audio 12 volt 100 amp hour mini battery. I went already ahead deplete a little bit and when I say depleting I charge another battery with it. Worked pretty well. Please put the clamps on. We'll not do that now because we should consolidate smart battery charger instructions first. No battery is better. All right if they say so. Uh, with this one so of course it talks about the buttons, it talks about the display. Um, you can of course just look into that and read a little bit. It comes with a couple of interesting features I feel like. So one, for example, um, it, it ha does have the auto 2 amp, 8 amp and 15 amp charge options. And it can charge batteries 6 and 12 volts. So it also has a winter mode, which means it will always add 0.2 volts increase to the initial charging voltage. It has a pulse dissolvation for restoring and we have a reconditioning mode as well. And another thing which is pretty cool about it prior setting memory function if you have already charged a battery. So yes, I did already charge a lithium-ion phosphate battery. So you know what? Just give it a try and see what it does, right? Those clamps, when you look at them, they feel good. They feel a decent size. Um, this is the connection. Just want to highlight this part. You can see that it's soldered on. Um, we'll measure the temperature later as well and how good they hold up. Um, same here with the negative here. So we'll see how it holds on. Said so you know it is connected, right? So, all right, I don't want to start it yet, but I want to change the battery type. All right, that means we'll change the setting to lithium ion phosphate, lithium, and then it should also charge with 14.6, around 14.6 volts. And we can keep it at auto, but um, this battery is rated up to 20 amps. Um, Charging current, so it's for me totally fine to go to 15, 15 amps. And then we can see a change of setting. Just in general, as soon as you change something on the settings, um, you can either start manually or you wait 30 seconds and then it's automatically starting. And phosphate battery and the average. Alright, it goes through the stages, that's nice. Now you can see it starts with 14.4 volts, 15 amps. Setting lithium, it says it's state of charge is 75%. Charge with 15 amps, max possible, 12 volt battery, that's what I recognized. Alright, but I don't know if you can hear that. Let me let me take my microphone. I don't know if you know we're able to hear that, but the positive wire here, you can tell that there is some kind of noise going on, which I don't like. I heard it already a couple times. Um, it's here in this charger, so as soon as you push it in or something, it stops. It has to do with this connection, I'm pretty sure. This is just my unit I received. Maybe another unit doesn't have it. Regardless, what are we doing now? I'll let it run. I'll measure it from time to time, so you get an idea how hot it's getting. By the way, it also does have a fan and the fan the fan sucks in the air on the one side and pushes it out on the other side so with 15 amp it should get warm pretty quickly let's do a quick measure and see all right let's see on the side around 82 kind of yeah let's see the hottest spot is back here so down here now the fans kicked in. Yeah. It's around 87. 
All right, and now it starts to smell as well. Plasticky smell. Okay, let's give it a couple minutes and then uh, I'll come back and check again. So also in the meantime, we can go ahead and just check the current because here, I hope you can see it, it says 15.3 amps going in. So we are at, you can see it, 15.3, 15.4, kind of switching back and forth, 15.2. I don't want to touch the cable, maybe that's interrupting. 15.3, 15.2, we have 15.4.5 here. 15.4, 15.1. Four. So it's kind of, it looks like it is within 0.4 amps and that's the max between 0.1 and 0.4. Okay, this is probably just two minutes in. Let's see where we're at. So, okay, on top we have 87 instead of 82 from earlier. Let's see here on the side, we are at, ooh, Oh, it depends on where we... All right, above 95 for sure. Between 95 and 102, depends on where you read. Let's go back on this spot, which seems to be the hottest for me. 97. It does have this plastic and electric smell. Let's continue. Here it's pretty well defined. What are the eight stages? There's a battery desulfation, soft start, bulk charging, absorption, battery analysis, battery reconditioning, float charge, and pulse maintaining. And the oh, sorry, I hope you can read it. This one. Let's do an in-between check. So on top, no 96. Let's see what's pushing out. Oh, looks like it's pushing out 114 degree. And I'm back. This is the hottest spot, I feel like. 113. By the way, it's readable in here, it's inside. Um, when you wanna, I think, turn on the display. I think that is turned on. So sitting outside, it might be hard to read. Well, let's see what we're pulling. So it says still 15.4, 15 15.3, 15.3, 15 15 yeah, it's pretty close this time. All right, I'll let it finish. Currently, it's really hard to read for you, I guess, uh, for me at least. It's weird because it's inside. I wish this would be a little brighter. It looks like it is done. It, on, when I came back, it just was off, so the display was off, I didn't see anything, but as soon as you hit start, it just shows you something. And the battery here on the right side says 100%. I think you can see it, I hope at least. So that means also, um, it, yeah, it just stopped working so it's done. It took a couple hours, battery was pretty empty. But when you look here, charging times, and they give you some indications on when you use 15 amp current, and here's a 100 amp battery, so it should take about 5.7 hours with this charger to charge it completely to full, from empty. And afterwards it just stops like this, and that's it. I would assume, since this is a very smart and high-tech charger, this will also try to, this will also try to keep the battery topped up. So here for reference, this is my hand, right? It's a very small device. I assume that the smell might go away at one point, but it is significant at the moment. It does have the fans going on. They're kicking on um, pretty early as well. So when you use the 15 amps, it for sure needs some cooling. And you can tell airflow is going in here. It's pulling it in. And here on the other side, it's pushing it out. That's a very hot spot. I measured uh, one time up to 140 degree Fahrenheit. And back here, this little strip, that's all the way it gets super hot. It's still touchable, at least when you're not super sensitive to heat. So I was always able to see some little variation between, here it was saying 15.4 amps, and when I measured here on the wire, uh, it was uh, around 14.9, 14.8, 14.9, 14.8, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9,
or it was uh, you know within 0.1 to 0.4 amps of a difference and I don't have anything connected that just a pure battery which is by the way an incredible battery so why I'm bringing this up this little charger helped me a lot this is the version 2 amp 8 amp and 15 amp it did do a great job I used it a couple times already I completely charged this battery with it uh, without any problem any flaws and now you can tell it's cooling off I'm capable of leaving the house and being not too worried about hey I'm leaving the house um, will the charger burn down everything or will it just shut off it will shut off at the end especially when you set it to the right settings what's nice about it for sure when you have used it one time for lithium ion phosphate batteries and you want to charge the same type again it remembers the last setting you had this little display which is okay to read when it's dark as soon as you have your little you know tilted it's harder to read and when you go outside i'm not sure if you can actually read it um, i don't have a use case at the moment to charge it outside but when i charge in the garage this will also be pretty well i guess to read all in all a little cool unit and as much as i understand also from ampeak at the moment they have a promotion online for this version but also for the version uh, up to 25 amps which is pretty cool i think that's worth it i think it's a neat little device when you look at those diy power supplies i was able to get up to 20 amps you get a smart charger which you just have to push a couple of buttons and that's it all right that's all thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if not thanks for watching Tschüss.